What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another Valheim video. In this video, we'll be covering some issues with the game that could cause stuttering frame drops or just general sluggishness while playing the game. While it may help you with some crashes, that's not really what this video is intended for, but it's a good place to start if you have no idea what to do if your game is randomly crashing. Of course, quick side note, if you'd like to learn how to set up your own private server, as well as a couple of other tips, make sure to check the description down below for a link to a video on that. So before we even begin playing around with the game files, there's some housekeeping that you need to do. First of all, make sure that your graphics card drivers are up to date, as well as Windows or whatever platform you're playing the game on. With both of those out of the way, restart your PC if you updated either of them and fire up Steam. From here, simply launch Valheim. If yours launches in a windowed mode like this, where you can see the bar at the top or your start bar at the bottom, simply click on the game window and hit Alt Enter to toggle full screen mode. After proper full screen mode is enabled, you should immediately notice higher FPS. But if you're left with black bars such like this, click the settings option, head across to graphics and choose the correct resolution here, which for me is 2K. Then make sure that full screen is also checked and click test instead of OK. If everything worked fine, click yes and we're done here. If you weren't running in full screen mode, this should help you quite a bit. While I have heard from a couple of places that you can run in some sort of exclusive mode by adding some command line options to the game, we'll eventually get to that. But to begin, there's a couple of other things that we can try. Number one is obviously lowering your graphic settings here and number two, lowering your resolution if none of these worked. Something I usually like to disable is depth of field and anti-aliasing as I like to see what I'm doing, chromatic aberration as well, and of course the most restrictive one is VSync. If this is turned on, the game will lock itself to your screen's refresh rate or the refresh rate that's defined up here. While that's usually not too much of an issue, if you'd like having a smooth gameplay experience, having VSync enabled can cause sluggish mouse and keyboard inputs, at least in your perspective. On top of that, all of these other options here, the more you disable, the more FPS you should get. But sometime in the future, I will have a video coming out benchmarking every single option here, as well as these ones up here and their effect on FPS in the game. So let's say that you lowered a couple of these ones up here, hit OK, and load into a server to see if things are already performing better. It can either be one on your computer or a public server that you're connecting to. And hopefully at this point you're getting some extra FPS. If you don't really know what your FPS is and you'd like to compare it, hit Shift and Tab to bring up the Steam overlay, open the settings at the very bottom, and inside of here, head across to the in-game tab and simply make sure to turn the in-game counter to say top left and enable high contrast to see it easier. After hitting OK, you'll see the FPS count in the top left hand corner. This should improve with the more options you change in the graphics options once again. Turning everything back on, you can see I dropped to 66 or so FPS and still dropping, but if I disable all these ones on the right hand side that I wouldn't usually play with anyway, you can see we go up to 73-ish FPS. Of course, the other options in here should have a similar effect, especially these ones up here and the resolution at the very top. So let's say you're still not really happy with your FPS or you're still experiencing some severe stutters. Some things that you can try is disabling third-party overlays such as MSI Afterburner, Discord and a couple of other programs. And on top of that, open up your task manager with Control shift escape and inside of here, close as many programs as you can. The more programs you have open, the more strain will be put on your PC and hence the game, giving you fewer FPS to use. And on top of this, you can see that when I'm opening up files and things like that, the game isn't really in full screen mode. It's in sort of a full screen borderless mode. But well, that's where this last little tip came in. Close out of your game and inside of Steam, right click Valheim, Properties and head across to the General tab. At the very bottom here, we'll be entering hyphen window hyphen mode space exclusive space hyphen screen hyphen full screen as such. After doing this, close out of this and try launch the game again. This time it should launch in exclusive full screen mode and give you higher FPS. I'm not too sure if you saw that, but my screen went completely black while launching the game, so it has actually launched in full screen mode. And once again over here, if I were to hit start, you'll see my OBS goes black and eventually you'll see my desktop over here, meaning that the game is actually running in full screen mode now. Tabbing back in, it's black again, but we can click start and hop back into our server. And yes, that seemed to make somewhat of a difference. I'm getting about 80 to 90 FPS now, which is quite a bit of an improvement. And of course, stability of the game seems to be a lot better. There's a lot less stuttering. Awesome. So from here, 
let's try one last thing in game before we get to the final option if you don't really know what to do from here. Hit F5 and inside of the console type in LOD BIAS, LOD BIAS. Hit enter and you can see the LOD BIAS is 5. Basically, the level of detail bias, as far as I understand, is how fast and how many textures are loaded into your world. The higher this number, the less performance you'll experience, but the better your game will look to some extent. What we can do is type in LOD bias, space, followed by a number. Typing in a lower number should result in lower quality in game, but you should also experience higher FPS. LOD bias of one gives me 105 FPS. If we go up to say five, you can see a bit further and we're at 78. Let's crank that up to say 10. Now you should be able to see even further and we should be on even fewer FPS. I'm not too sure what the upper limit of this is, but let's try say 50. And I seem to be running at about 50 odd FPS. I can't see too far into the distance. I would assume that this mist is sort of stopping me from seeing that and maybe we'll get some better FPS in the daytime. Let's quickly sleep. And maybe we'll get a further view in the daytime. So let's quickly sleep if I don't die here. And there we go. After our quick dream sesh, I've lit myself on fire and I'm dead. Okay, well, slight distraction aside, uh, nothing seems to be too different. We still aren't able to see too far, but I would assume that's just a limitation of the game. So having this LOD bias lower does actually give you some better FPS. I'd probably keep it at about the game's default of five, maybe push it up to 10 if you have a good graphics card and CPU combo. Having this at anything lower should give you a better feeling experience. Of course, that's only really for lower end PCs as you won't be able to see as well in the distance. For the final tip, let's go ahead and close out of the game. If for some reason you've checked absolutely everywhere, you can right click the game, click properties, head across to local files and then verify integrity of game files. This will run through all of the files on your computer and verify that they all match the server's files and if anything is found to be strange, it will be re-downloaded or at least fixed. Besides that, that's about it for this video. If you'd like to see a full optimization guide of this game, do let me know in the comments down below and I'll probably have one out tomorrow sometime or even later today. Not only will I be releasing an optimization video, but I'll also have another video running through every single graphics option in the game and the effect that it has on your graphics and gameplay experience. So anyways, that's about it. My name's been Technober here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.